Hi everyone, Casey here from Travelling Corkscrew. I wanted to record a little video today as I am super excited about the new Coravin product out. So, introducing the Coravin Pivot. This was just released to the Australian market this month in July. I was kindly sent this product for free to test out. Thank you very much, Coravin. Um, and just to let you guys know, I was under no obligation at all to, uh, to record this video, or write a blog post or anything. Um, if you know me, then you know I'm not a huge fan of recording videos. However, I really love this product and I really wanted to show you guys it in action so that you could see it, um, see it working. So bear with me and my uh, average videoing skills and all my ums and ahs. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. Okay, so the new Coravin Pivot is the brand new product from Coravin and it is a lot more affordable than their standard product. So the Coravin Pivot retails for $185 um, Australian and there's a Coravin Pivot Plus which is for $230. Um, the Plus includes a special aerator attachment, um, which is really cool and I'm hoping you can buy it separately because I actually really want to buy one um, after seeing it. So, what is the point of a Coravin Pivot? So, Coravin is a patent technology which focuses on preserving wine after you have opened it. So, why would you need that? I know a lot of people go, I never have any leftovers of wine but there are people who maybe you just want one glass and you want to enjoy the rest of the later date uh, perhaps you and your partner one of you prefers red one prefers white but you don't want to drink four bottles this way you can both have something you enjoy and then you can enjoy that bottle over a few nights if you wish uh, personally I find the Coravin products really good because I get sent samples of wine and I want to try them all or I want to um, try wines against each other and maybe open, you know, say six bottles in one day. Between me and Mrs. Spittoon, we're hopefully not going to drink six bottles in one day. I know we're in lockdown here in Victoria, but yeah, <laughs> we try and be, um, have a healthy proportion of wine in our diet. And so there are really, there are numerous ways um, why you'd want to use a Coravin product. The Coravin Pivot, um, so what it can do is it can preserve your wine up to four weeks. It will work on any still bottle and I'm loving it. Like I'm really loving it. Um, I'll show you what you get in the box. So you get the Coravin device. So I have the gray one here. It also comes in teal, coral, and classic black. Um, I'm loving my gray one. I think it's fantastic. What you also get, um, what you can't see under here, I've already put it in, is an argon gas canister. So I'm just going to step back one moment. So when you open a bottle of wine, oxygen goes in. Wine doesn't like oxygen. As soon as oxygen starts to hit a wine, that the wine starts to age and make its journey to its afterlife, I guess you could say. Um, it's when, so once it has too much oxygen, oxygen, then the wine becomes oxidized. So that process, it depends on the grape variety, it depends on how the wine was kept and numerous factors as to how long you have once you open a bottle of wine to when it goes bad. Um, it can be anywhere from a day to a few days. However, by using this, you can keep it up to four weeks. So it's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, and so, uh, sorry, step back a bit. I did warn you, my videoing skills aren't great. What this funky device does is it's got the argon gas canister in here. Argon gas is completely safe, it's uh, food safe, and it's actually what is 
um, insert it into the bottles at the end of the bottling line for all wine once it gets to you. So what it does is you put this in, it spurts a bit of argon gas out and that acts as like a blanket on top of the wine so then the oxygen can't get in. Very cool technology. Um, yeah, and I'm loving it. So you get your you get your device if you canister. You get two of these stoppers. So as I mentioned, these fit any bottle. Um, dry wine, so you can't use this on sparkling wine, unfortunately. Goravin do have a special product though for sparkling wine, if that's something you're interested in. And you also, of course, get a quick start guide. And I love that, all the instructions on one piece of paper. So at the top here, that is how to uh, build your device, so put your canister in safely. And the second half is how to use it, which is what I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, let's go and pop that over there. I'm gonna put my quick start guide here to make sure I'm doing it safely. And I'm gonna grab my bottle of wine. So I've got a lovely Austin's 2018 uh, Riesling here to try. So I ordered some of these last week because they're having an epic sale. Um, what I am going to do now is I am going to take the screw cap off, replace it with my stopper. I want to have that open. So it's good to do this process obviously as quickly as possible so the least amount of oxygen getting in is better. Put that on there. And then what I do is I take my core of pivot, I pop that in there, like so. You can see that there. And what you can see on the back end here is a little button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my glass, uh, which by the way is a lovely Riesling glass from Riddell. I got these for Christmas last year and they are just stunning. Okay. Pop that in there, and then what we're going to do now is we're just going to tip it and press the button. Take out my sample or the glass of wine that I want to have with dinner, and that's done. So when I was pressing that button, the wine was coming out, argon gas was going in. What I then do is I just swiftly take off my Coravin device, Put that little stopper on there. Ta-da, done. So now what I do with this bottle is I, so that's on there tightly. I'm going to put this in the fridge standing upright so that that argon gas stays over that layer of wine there. It'd be rude if I didn't. Oof. I have had Austin's um, Riesling before. Um, they are from the Geelong area, which is where I am based, so is it too early? It's 11.30. I think that's okay, isn't it, during lockdown? Mm. Exactly like I remember. Delicious. So yes, I'm going to pop this back in the fridge. Let's see how long it lasts. Um, maybe only until next week before I drink the rest. Um, I am going to Try and leave it for at least four weeks to make sure that um, it stays fresh and everything like that. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Excuse my uh, not great <laughs> on camera skills. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you this, this really cool uh, new device. Um, thank you again, Coravin, for sending this my way and like my Coravin Model 6, I am uh, infatuated with it already. And yeah, I'll be definitely ordering more stoppers and the um, wine aerator attachment to this soon. <laughs> okay, enjoy guys. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I will pop a link to, uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, I'll pop a link to the blog post. If you are on my blog watching this, then scroll up and down to read more um, about this funky device. Okay, see ya everyone.